So uh, we can start with 6.1. That is all about work-related upper limb, di uh, limb disorders. That means they've ruled. Uh, what exactly other types we can link with that particular category is the MSD, like muscle skeletal disorders, is kind of a collection of injuries, you know, to our skeletal system because. Uh, of course, uh, uh, we have even the soft tissues associated with the system and uh, several back injuries and back pain issues because of uh, muscle strain or ligament damage or disc injury. You know. The people terribly on risk, you know, who are all the time sitting and uh, uh, have even the several, like you can take an example of your uh, clerical staff here, even the banks you can note down all the time, mostly they're sitting, you know. So uh, if you talk to them, always they'll be complaining about back injuries, a kind of back pain, you know. Not back injuries, at least back pain should be like, uh, would be their uh, regular kind of uh, issue, you know. Now work-related upper limb disorder, that is all about carpal tunnel syndrome and tenosynovitis. That means uh, other chronic tissues, injuries could be associated with sitting, standing, or kneeling for long period of time time at work. So that means uh, it's not a small activity, like you are sitting at chair and if you if your sitting style is not good enough, not safe enough, or if your backbone is not straight enough, and the legs, uh, how are you going to put your legs even, and the way you are using your mouse, and the way you are typing, your, uh, typing at your keyboard, all matters a lot. All are giving some uh, definitely, you know, if we don't follow the best safety practices, surely our muscles, our uh, tissues or the cells could be in trouble, actually. So repetitive activities uh, that involve significant risk of a muscle skeletal disorder, we can call them high risk activities. Like display screen equipment, we will discuss in detail, like keyboard operation, factory assembly of small components, and also supermarket checkout operation, brick lane. So any repetitive activities over and over we are doing, you know, either it's a typing, either it's kind of uh, assembling some different parts altogether. And uh, even in the supermarket checkout operation and brick lane. So bear in mind, uh, three important factors are there, you know, for muscle sculpture disorder, uh, the key risk factors. First of all, the task factors. The task, what type of task is there? I hope you remember I shared one of the examples that, uh, you know, the task was uh, picking up the box, putting on the pallet, and then uh, uh, stack up up to three layers, you know. So four by three, total 12 boxes were supposed to be kept on one pallet, but it was being done manually by one gentleman. And the box weighed, I hope you remember the 30 kg, which is legally even not allowed. But because a lot of money was involved, so everybody, you know, uh, was giving a shut up call even to us, to be very honest, because even we had meeting with customer, but, but the, they didn't agree actually, because again, a lot of money uh, through saving tax and space and, you know, and also uh, some sort of requirement from the end user side, like a lot of outlets, they were asking, we need big box rather than you know, plenty of box because later on uh, managing waste is another problem for them also. So several kind of uh, challenges. So the nature of task is very much important to a value, especially the repetition, the force, the posture, the twisting and the rest. Taking 30 kg box and, you know, picking it up and putting on the pallet, then waiting for another one, taking another. So 12 boxes are, as a rule, you know, so, of course, uh, this repetition force, postures, twisting, and rest, all are involved there. Now, equipment factor. The equipment, uh, the most important part is the design, actually. The design and adjustability. So, we have task factors. We have equipment factors. The way we design our equipment and the adjustability, how we can adjust. Uh, take an example of your revolving chair like office chair, if it is adjustable, much better because sometimes according to the height or 
sometimes the way that tables are designed we we need to adjust our chair you know as per our height or as per our uh, comfortability actually so it, should, it must be adjustable now environmental factors uh, it's not like always uh, in the sensitive work areas even in office environment lighting glare and other factors in temperature critically important you know like imagine if uh, uh, now we have winter season and if temperature is like uh, uh, below 15 degree or below uh, 16 degree even so just imagine can we sit and work more easily no way so accordingly uh, our guys working outside especially in winter season how terrible that temperature could be for them you know and what kind of uh, uh solutions we're going to provide them in shape of pps or in shape of uh, uh, maybe some diet plan also you know that's also we are encouraging to the companies think about something uh, different which they can intake and feel comfortable that is why uh, coffee tea or several kind of liquors are uh, giving you know all the time free of course whenever you feel some uh, some kind of issues just go there and have a coffee have a uh, cup of tea and refresh yourself so you try you try different things to manage all environmental aspects and impacts and that study should come from the environmental engineer i repeat again environmental aspects and impacts that study should be shared with us uh, through environmental engineer or some companies they have ems coordinator like uh, you know environmental management system coordinator some companies they just have kind of a separate environment department you know they they might have environmental manager like ems manager so what i mean is all such environmental aspects and impacts and the solutions and the way it should be controlled uh, must be suggested through ems and like in saudi aramco we have epd environmental protection division uh, overall in saudi arabia we have pme presidency of meteorology you know so same way in royal commission and saudi electricity of course uh, all brands have separate department for environmental management otherwise uh, sometime they just uh, collaborate and put in front like as a qhc department quality health safety environment and several companies i noted they hired qhc manager like quality health safety environment so a person who is leading different four segments and they're reporting and managing the system as per international standards now matching the workplace to individual needs ergonomics is concerned with the interaction between people and the tools equipment or machinery so it's a combination the way we design and select and you know buy our tools equipment and machinery and most importantly are going to be used by our employees and the way how they'll be using that is also critically important and of course the workplace environment and organizational factors not typical uh, example of uh, dsc like display screen equipment look at this gentleman and the way he bend up his uh, neck you know because the the screen is not uh, right in front so little bit he is definitely and the way he is going to type look at the angle of the elbows you know imagine if he is going to type for next 30 minutes or 1 hour or maybe 2 hours or continuously working on a different project and sometimes we don't realize what is happening to our muscles or you know the way we are sitting or working you know and look at the shoulders also the way he bend it up so what are the risks the rules the back pain the eye strain and fatigue and stress that means uh, this kind of uh, uh, you know any hazards which can create some uh, issues in our muscles or in tissue in kind of uh, even skin stretching and most importantly the tissues could also be sometime you know uh, tighten enough and sometime i noted people they are hard to bend their elbow even you know the way they are typing and the way they are working and they are bound to work that is why the company is paying them to be very honest but still our safety is in our hand are we going to take some 
uh, certain breaks or what can control measures we can implement. So let's see how Nibosh is getting about the control measures. It's all uh, start from the assessment that the workstation assessment must be completed. Accordingly, we will provide basic DSC workstation equipment to minimum standards. Plan the work routine and also provide free ISI tests and spectacles if required. Provide information and training on risk, preventive measures, ergonomic use of the workstations. Now here I'm going to point it out one of uh, the biggest reason this pandemic is COVID-19. Mostly the work started up, the things are going to be digitalized. Uh, most of you know, even we as a training body never thought that we'll be giving training online, to be very honest. Uh, before pandemic, we never realized. But the more online trainings means more seat work. And uh, think about the lock time uh, period of uh, three, four months in Saudi Arabia, in our country, you know. Just imagine how many issues are going to be there. Not only the mental health issues, even uh, plenty of uh, muscles relevant issues, you know. So accordingly, that factor should also be considered the moment we start our assessment actually. So provide information and training or risk, preventive measures, ergonomic use of the workstation. Sometimes we think these are very small things, you know. So maybe, oh, office guys, they are enjoying, you know. They are sitting on table, sitting on chair and enjoying office work. But in fact, to be very honest, they are also in trouble. If they, if we don't give proper care to them, don't, don't expect actually the people will follow or have sufficient knowledge uh, to follow safety regulations by themselves actually. That, uh, that is why, you know, we as a safety leader are responsible for every nook and corner every sort of stakeholder coming within our territory. First of all, we are responsible to give them proper trainings or kind of induction and making sure they are safe enough uh, to perform uh, uh, that particular activity in a full safest manner. Look at that picture. Uh, one picture is more louder than thousand words. Uh, starting from point number one up to nine, Everything matters. Everything matters a lot. To keep our body safe, to avoid any back pain, any muscle cramp. And look at the way the station must be designed, actually. Our backbone, this is our responsibility to take it straight. And also the design of the chair should be supportive in that context. Look at number two, then number three, adjustability, and the way the legs need to be bent. Okay. And then, you know, the pad, the number five, the downside, six. Again, this belongs to the design, the way the elbows are bent up. Number eight, the keyboard, and of course, the screen display in front of the eyes. So what are the control measures? For additional points, uh, desk layout, these are additional points, document holder, workplace lighting and telephone headset, specific measures for laptop for short duration work only, a docking station and brakes and eyesight, eye test also. So make sure, you know, uh, you create and uh, implement some administration rules, you know. Like several people, they work for a few hours and then they had a 15, 20 minutes break, you know, just to relax their muscles and then come back and keep the momentum in a safe pattern. Now, what other DSC control measures are there? As I mentioned earlier, also it's all game of starting the assessment and provide basic DSC workstation equipment to minimum standard, plan to work routine and provide free ISA tests and spectacles if required. Provide information and training or risk preventive and economy. So in every case, the control hierarchy is almost the same. That is all starts from the assessment. Any workstation you are going to do. 